What's going on guys? Chris here on another episode of Bassin with Watson. Today we're going to be rigging up an anchor system on the 2019 Hobie Outback. So we're going to have an anchor system in the front and in the back. So let's get into it guys. We're in the shop right now, or the garage, whatever you want to call it. I got the surprise right here, the 2019 Hobie Outback. The only tools that you're going to need for this project is this right here, screwdriver. You're going to need a pulley system. doesn't matter, I chose this one, it's a little heavier duty. You can buy this on Amazon, I'll have the link below. Um, and some kind of rope. This is 11 millimeter rope. It's just right for the Hobie Outback 2019. And then you're gonna need a power pole micro anchor. So I'm gonna get a closer view of the kayak. We're gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you how I rig up the anchor system. So with this pulley, you're gonna need a piece of rope. You're gonna tie it here, attach it just like this. Now this is 11 millimeter rope. It works good for the Hobie Outback, and you'll see here in a second why I'm saying that, but I would recommend 11 millimeter rope, and you'll see why here in a few seconds. Um, what you're gonna tie here to this pulley is a double fisherman's knot, okay? It's a knot that cinches down, so it's never gonna come, no matter how hard you pull on it, it's just gonna get tighter and tighter and tighter. And this is good, why I chose that knot is just because Depending on what size anchor you use, it just it's it's gonna hold. Um, you're gonna need a stopper knot. This is just a regular overhand knot here. Okay, so let's take this to the front of the kayak, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So right here, this is where your handle goes. Okay, all you're gonna do is unscrew the two screws and get rid of the handle that's there that came with the kayak, okay? And it's just like this. And there's two inserts here, so it's, so you can drill the screws. Now you're gonna take your pulley, you're gonna set it right here, you're gonna take this eye ring, eyelet, and you're gonna set it on top, just like this. And all we're gonna do is just kind of screw it down and the ropes just thick enough to where it flexes and it can just squish the rope down it just gives it that extra tightness so it doesn't come loose so let's go ahead and just screw this down don't tighten one side too tight just yet get them just both in there first and then you can work them down just like this. Now this stopper knot right here, or just the regular overhand knot, um, is just gonna keep it from sliding through if it does slide through, if there's a lot of pressure and tension on this on this anchor that's pulling you. And you'll see that when you get into like heavy winds or high flow river currents and stuff like that. So now this is just nice and snug here. And that's pretty much it. So once you get it nice and snug, it's free swinging, so it can go left, or right, you want to put the anchor over here, you want to put the anchor over here, if it catches something over here, or in the front, or over there, it just, it's, the free motion and range is great um, to doing that. So, and it, this little bit of rope right here from the fisherman's knot is not going to let the, the metal rub on the plastic and wear down the plastic. So it's just an extra protection for you there. Now what you're gonna need now is a, is some kind of anchor system. 
um, to manage your line. So let's get into that too. I got that mounted on already. It's pretty. So like what I was talking about, we're gonna need some kind of anchor line management system. It doesn't have to be the anchor wizard, but it can just be something where you store your line. It's just gonna make your life a lot easier. So I have the anchor wizard here, and what's great about the anchor wizard and the Hobie, you can simply just mount them to this track system that's already in the kayak. So there's no drilling involved. You just take the, the tracks and you just slide it right in, and now you're gonna run your anchor line to that pulley and attach an anchor to it. So let's get into what we rig up in the back and how Hobie made it so easy and convenient to have an anchor system in the front and in the back. So let's get into that. So I already took out the four existing screws, as you can see here. And now we're gonna take our Hobie mounting plate and just screw in these four screws to the kayak. Just like this. It's such a simple install, man. It's so great. Now what you're gonna do is take your power pole and just mount it right up. And you can see, they just made it close enough to where the pole doesn't exactly touch. So guys, that's pretty much how I rig up my 2019 Hobie Outback for the anchor system. So I got an anchor system in the back, I got an anchor system in the front, and I like having both anchor systems just for the fact of if I want to be facing upstream, I'm going to use my anchor system that I have in the front. If I want to be facing downstream, and I'm going to be using the anchor system in the back, the power pole micro anchor. And it's it's just great, man. I, I love it. It's, it's definitely uh, the setup I like to have here. I'm going to be putting in some other stuff. I got the Lowrance HDS Live coming in 7. So I'm going to be installing that into the Hobie Outback as well. I got some anchor trolleys and some different things coming in the mail. So just keep watching my video, guys. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you guys have any questions, just comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And like always, guys, just keep fishing.